Hey, what's up everybody? It's your boy Two Phones back again with another informative video. Um, this video, I'm talking about one particular SMS application I truly am a fan of now and I truly like as a standalone or my default messaging uh, SMS app outside of having Android messages as the default. So there's a lot of alternatives out there on the Google Play Store and possibly iOS. I'm not sure if they work like they do on Android, but I want to show you how to find this application called Post SMS Application. So what you want to do is you want to open your Google Play Store application and my fault for that. Then you want to type in Post SMS. I think, yeah, very first one that pops up. It'll say Post SMS phone tablet and web and yes i'm on the beta and oh wow i have an update for it okay so uh, basically this latest update brings uh smart replies just like the android messages default app if you ever used it and you were ever in a message and at the bottom of the message it gives you like emojis or some words to you know simply help you just you know reply faster in a simpler and smarter way so uh yeah no further ado let's go ahead and open the app up all right and this is what the app looks like well it might be i'm in a dark mode and they have like dark themes and all that stuff like that and i'm going to show you that real uh quick so you slide over here and this is what i like about the messaging application you have a menu a slide out menu bar so you just swipe it from uh left to right and you will get all these different functionalities and features and stuff like that so you can check conversation lists text from any device you can do un unread conversations private conversations archive manage folders you can even schedule certain messages you can blacklist people um and you can invite your friends um for you know instant messaging okay now advanced features basically it just breaks down the different types of features for your messaging you can use internal web browser uh you can turn this off and it will disable link previews within message so um you know you can go ahead and cu customize this application any way you want to you can make it your default um and let me go to customization let's go to theme you can change the theme to day and night always light so let's just say let's just look at what it looks like real light right so that's what that looks like um and let's go back to always black boom here we go you can change the circles you can make a square around it um and yeah that's pretty much it got the different customization swipe actions keyboard emoji styles sound effects i like the sound effects when i send messages and that sort and so like when also you want to swipe left or right to archive and that's the only real options you got um, for that and let's just open up one real quick and this is what your messages look like when you open in one okay so if i wanted to send a message i got a text plus app so let me see Okay, so it's telling me to make it default, but yeah, you can just send um, photos and stuff like that. You got GIFs all at the bottom, as you can see, and you can make a call right in from the um, app, and yeah, and you can do search right at the top. So yeah, this is my overall experience. I actually like this app, and... Uh, one cool trick real quick. Let me turn off Wi-Fi. I hope this doesn't mess with the recording. Yes, the app you can use offline without data or Wi-Fi. As you can see, I have the data turned off. This all grayed out mean this is not in use. So keep that in mind. You can actually use this without data connections for people that on calls and text apps uh calls and text plans only this will work without wi-fi or data once you get it set up and installed all right let me know your thoughts in the comment section below